All right, YouTube. Good morning. There's the Hound Farms again. Seth Cobb. Lazy Hound Dog. All right. Today, I wanted to talk shortly about um, cutting up logs. If you're cutting up to sell them, cutting up for firewood, cutting up for a sawmill, whatever it is you're doing. Um, now, keep in mind, this is free advice, so it's worth about what you pay for. But, I buy logs from tree services and whatnot, um, and I cut a lot myself. But uh, I've, here lately, I've been getting some logs from guys who are cutting down trees, mainly landscapers. Um, that what they'll do is they'll say, "Okay, well, I want to get a 16-foot log out of the bottom of or the butt of the tree." So they'll come back here, and they'll measure 16 feet from the furthest back point, which would be, you know, right here most of the time, and not thinking about this or the wedge. And then they'll pull 16 feet, which ends up out here somewhere. And not care, not think about the bow in the log, the twist in the log, and everything else. So you end up throwing a whole lot of the log away as you put it on a meal. Um, so what we did was measured from the bottom of the hinge or wedge and measured eight feet. Or eight and a half feet to him because that spot that section right there is straight but if you look down here on this 16 foot log it's got just a little bit of a bow in it but i need some 16 foot rafters for a cow shelter so that'll just have to work um and you come on down a little bit further And I was able to get another 16 foot long log out of it. Now, you get down there to the top and it's nothing but three 8 foot short logs that I can cut four befores out of. So, in short, um, free advice. If you're cutting logs to sell, cutting logs to use for yourself or your meal, or, um, or just in cutting logs uh, to give away to somebody. Um, just don't pull a tape measure and get break out the chainsaw and go to cutting. Uh, everybody's heard the heard the old saying, "What is it? Measure twice, cut once." Well, you don't have to do that, but look at the log and say, "Okay, well, it's got a bow in it right here, so I need to cut it before it gets to that bow." And it'll, you know, if you're selling them, they'll pay you more for them, or if you're just giving them away to people who are getting them. Might even pay you something for them. They sure would appreciate it. So, uh, use that noggin for something other than a hair greenhouse and a hard hat holder. All right, YouTube. Thank you for your time. Y'all stay warm today. And, uh, we'll see you on the next one.